numerous students driving through a state park around 7.30 in the evening. One of them 20 years old, the other three ranging in age from 15 to 17. A young girl was thrown from the back seat through the windshield and died instantly. None of them were wearing their seatbelts. No one in this car knew that this night would end in tragedy. The accident I just described to you happened around this time last year, April 15th to be exact. The young girl that was thrown from the car was my cousin. Also, the topic I'm speaking about today, I have personal experience because I have also driven under the influence of alcohol. <clears throat> According to our class survey, 67% of you have driven under the influence of alcohol or drugs, and 92% of you know someone who has. After listening to my speech, you will be able to take action to stop people from driving under the influence. Today, I'm going to discuss the problem with driving under the influence, the cause, and some possible solutions. According to the Center for Disease Control's website, accessed on March 20th, 2014, in 2010, 1.4 million drivers were arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol or narcotics. Every day, almost 30 people died, which means one death every 48 minutes. Also, in 2010, 10,228 people were killed involving someone who was impaired. This amounts to 31% of all traffic-related accidents. <clears throat> Some of the negative effects of driving under the influence can lead to legal, personal, and academic issues. With the personal issues, according to the Eastern Uni Washington University website, accessed on March 20th, 2014, you could cause death or serious injury to yourself or someone else on the road. The legal issues can result in a DUI, which never leaves your record. You always have that on your record. With the academic issues, that can relate to all of us in this classroom. Because your grades can drop, if you play sports, your performance will suffer. You will not be able to perform as well as you normally would be able to. <clears throat> According to the Science Daily website, accessed on March 25th, 2014, the cause of driving under the influence is that you're feeling of recovery is actually brought on much faster than the actual recovery time. So you may be feeling sober, you may feel like you can go out and drive your car home, but in reality, you can't. <clears throat> also, according to the Century Council website, accessed March 20th, 2011, uh, March 20th, 2014, I'm sorry, in 2011, 70% of drunk driving fatalities had a blood alcohol level of 0.15 or higher. This means that there were, they were basically hardcore drunk, as they call it, because the normal blood alcohol level is 0.08. And 18% of those crashes involve substances such as marijuana, cocaine, or heroin but can be used in combination with alcohol. <clears throat> Some possible solutions that can be ta taken to help stop this matter. According to Achieve Solutions, the Achieve Solutions website accessed on March 26, 2014, if you're throwing a party or if you're going to a party, take away someone's keys or designate a driver before you even go. That way, you can make sure that someone is going to be able to drive without the possibility of getting into an accident. Also, offer non-alcoholic drinks and offer food because someone may not want to drink, so have some soda or some water or juice somewhere around the house that they can drink. 
And food will also help with the alcohol because if you don't eat when you're drinking, it really does affect you because your stomach and everything gets out of whack. <clears throat> also, stop serving alcohol two hours before the party stops. That way, you will be able to make sure that if someone is going to drive themselves home, they're not that drunk. <clears throat> now that you've heard the statistics, I hope that you can convince yourself, family, friends, or even strangers not to get in the car after they have drank or done drugs. Today, I have discussed what the problem was with driving under the influence, the cause, and possible solutions. Remember that accident my cousin died in? This is the car that they were in. Sarah Jane would have given anything to be here right now. She had so much to live for, but that crash claimed her life. The young man driving wanted a five second high from drugs before he got behind the wheel of that car. My only hope is that you can make the right decision so your life or someone else's won't end the same way that Sarah Jane's did. <clears throat>